everyone, it's Bren with Addicted to Cricut bringing you another Cricut tutorial. Today I'm going to show you five ways I have figured out how to erase in Cricut Design Space. And if you've made many projects at all, you know that this is really important. So let's dive in. So I am on my Cricut Design Space right now. And I took this basic image right here and let's just say that we just want the feather and that's all we want. We want to get rid of the birds. Well, there's no way, it's not like it's a um, SVG that we can like take away that layer. So this is how I do it. I use the slice. So I just took a square, just got a shape, took a square, I made it red so you could see it differently. And I put it over as much of the image as I could. And then I highlight both of the images and I slice. And this is what is left. Well, of course, there's one little more piece, right? So I got a circle and put a circle over that. And I did the same thing. You know, I put it out on these and I sliced it. And this is what I got. So I use that a lot, mostly when I pull images from Cricut Design Space, because if it's not an SVG, if it's not layered, there is no way to erase on Cricut Design Space. So I use that a lot. You can also use the contour, um, which is a button way down here in the bottom. Can you see it? You can use the contour and I can hide them all and show them all. Now, if you notice when I hid them all, all the birds were gone but the feather. But I can actually like pick out the ones I don't want also, okay? Now, this works nicely on this picture, but it doesn't always work nicely on all pictures. Sometimes little pieces are connected to another piece, and when you hit the contour button, that whole big piece goes away and you don't want that to happen. So I use them both. So actually that's kind of six ways, but anyway. So let's go on and I will show you the other four ways. Let me pull this design space open. Okay. So I have this little guy here. Let's back up. Let's cancel out of that. If you want to upload an image from the web or wherever you have an image from, you're going to go right here to upload. Then you're going to hit upload image and then you're going to go find it on your computer. Okay. So here's my little fox and we always come to this and we have to choose. I always choose complex and I think it's got to be something about saving my butt just in case. And there we go. Now you can enlarge this picture right here, zoom in. Most of you have played with this before. Let me move me. So right now we are on the select and erase wand. It's the magic wand. And so any place that we touch on our picture and click our mouse, it disappears. Okay, so we can actually get rid of all of the background with just a click of the mouse. Now, if all that background was connected, it would have all disappeared at the same time. It didn't for whatever reason. Okay. Um, now, I also will use this when I want to take an image like this that has four colors in it, and I want to divide it up and make each image separate so that I can save each each color. And then when I get to Cricut Design Space, I can put all my colors together and actually create an SVG file. Well, not really, but a layered file. And so I can cut out each layer and then layer it with the correct colors. Anyway, that's a little too much. I'll have to show you how to do that someday. Um, so we can actually get rid of as much of this little guy as we want by using this one here. But let's go back and show you the next. Okay, so that was number two. That's how you get rid of bits and pieces that you can erase. Now let's go to this one. It's an eraser. It really is an eraser. And as you can see here, you have the option how big it is. It can be big or it can be really tiny because sometimes you got to get in and get some things. So if we decided that we wanted parts of this gone for whatever reason, we can come in and actually take it away. Okay. So that's number three. The next one is the crop and the crop took me a little bit of time to get used to because you're cropping not what you want away, but what you want to keep. Let me actually pull in another picture, a different image 
Um, let's see. Let me find. Let me pull this one in. This is my signature from my website. Let's increase the thing. So let's just say that we want just the Bryn and not all the rest, but we don't want to spend the time erasing each little piece. So we can come over here and we can cut crop. Now usually I would like crop what I want out, but no, we want to crop what we want in. So start here and go, and there you go. So then we can zoom in again which is not focused, but that's okay. And then you can start erasing the bits and pieces. Well, I would probably get rid of the background first before I start doing too much of the bits and pieces because that will take away a lot of it. And then hit the erase button and now you can start erasing all you want. Okay, just like that. Isn't that fun? Okay, now one more way. Let me get back out of here. Let me um, cancel out of here again. And I'm going to go back to upload, upload image, and I'm going to go back and get my little fox again. Let's see if I can find him. There he is. Okay. I hit complex because I always do. And I'm going to make him a little bit bigger. Okay. So first I'm going to get rid of the background. But actually, let me show you before I do that. Let me hit my back button, which is a lifesaver. Um, we're going to talk about the advanced option, which is only in the select and erase when you're underneath this magic tool that you see it. So the advanced options. And we are going to play with the color tolerance. So right now it's set at 16, but let's say I set it at 85, which is a number that I use a lot. So if I click this white part now, the color tolerance is so high that when I click it, it took away some of the beige. So it's, it's tell, you know, I'm telling it that I want it to take away all of this that it can see, and it thought I meant that color too. Well, obviously I don't. But here's when you would want to use that. If you were taking out bits and pieces of this, because a lot of times, and I can go down here to preview and see, a lot of times you've got a lot of specs and things that are left. But since we used an 85, it didn't. Now let's go back to 16, which is your normal amount. Let's go to 16 and do the same thing and preview. Actually, let's maybe do this too. And you can see that it's really jagged. So I would want to come in here and I would want to use the erase tool and straighten it all up. But you don't have to. If you use, hold on, let me get back again, the 85 or even a 50, you know, a 50 will even help. Let me see. It's still pretty jaggedy with a 50, but we can get out of there and let's try the 85. And we can preview. And it's much smoother. Okay, so when you know that you've got an image that you want to use, and especially off the internet, and you get them and they are just all riggedy and they have specs all over them, raise the color tolerance and it's going to erase a lot of that dirt. I call it dirt. I call it cleaning it up. So it's going to erase a lot of those specs. Okay, so that was number five. These are five different ways that you can use to erase things while you're in Cricut Design Space so that you can cut them. Okay, okay guys, that's it. Uh, go out there and, and create something and use the erase button. Have a good day.